a quick uh, introduction to CAD and Tosh here. It's a uh, CAD program for the Mac and I've been able to use it for free. Um, I think you have to pay to get a few of the extra features like uh, I think um, maybe groups and layers there's something there. But anyway I'm going to give you a quick introduction here. i um, been using it for the last couple of weeks so maybe I've got something that uh, can be of use to you. All right. Um, first, when you open up CAD and Tosh and you click try it, it opens up and it gives you the option to put in some drawing data. Um, um, usually what I set is a scale right away. So let's say 1 to 12 um, for um, drawing something with a maximum of like 100 inches across and it's going to be printed portrait so I found 1 to 12 to work for me all right so anyway the introduction here you've got basically your drawing area you've got your toolbar here and that is a floating dock you've also got this here which you don't want to you don't want to X out because that's kind of helpful to leave it here but it shows you your your cursor positions, so shows the measurements, shows the zoom um, percentage. I just put that up here. Immediately we're going to save this as something. I'm going to just save it to the desktop. I'm going to save it as a tutorial. And it saves it as a CADX file. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you want to do and the first thing, it took me a little while to figure this out. I thought, well, you just start drawing on here. No, you got to actually create the zone that's going to print out. So you go to File, you go to Page Setup, and you click on Default. And it lets you choose the, your paper size. Mine's going to be U.S. letter, which is 8.5 by 11. You can also set up your custom uh, by adding here and then creating your margins and your width and your height and then um, your non-printable areas yeah the margins right here and then you can duplicate and all that stuff anyway I'm just going to use the default US letter I'm going to make it portrait and I'm going to click OK so now the next step is go to area under page setup area uh, select area with a page and you just I go down here in this lower section left and just click page it's going to ask you for to define the print area you can name it anything it doesn't really matter I'm going to call it page uh, one and I leave define view with same settings unchecked haven't really figured out what the view is and then it, it uh, gives you this page one. And this is where you're going to draw in. You, you can move stuff out here to the outside of this drawing area. It just won't be printed. Everything in this here will be printed. And as I've set it up to be, it will be printed portrait. Um, you want to zoom in. So basically, I just use my mouse uh, roller to zoom in to make this full page. There's probably something up here. Mm. but um, I just find it's it's best to just zoom in you can put your cursor up here and then you can see it kind of zooms to where the cursor is okay so that's it now that you've designed your page and your size and portrait or landscape you can now start drawing inside the box. You can also draw outside the box, like I said before, and drag it in, drag it out, move stuff around, whatever. But this is going to be the area that it's going to print. This X here is your origin. Um, as you can see, the finger kind of, when you hover over it, it's showing, um, you know, it's almost zero, zero. That's your origin. But we're going to set the origin over here to the top left corner of the page. So what you do is you've got this um, unit here, this cursor location toolbar, I call it, and you click anywhere inside of it. Uh, if you click here, it's going to change the coordinates. 
the coordinate type. Um, so for example, inch, it's now inch. But anyway, if you click in here or here, um, and then you bring your cursor over to wherever you want your index point to be and then just click there. Now your index is here and you can see up here on the toolbar, when I drag the mouse over here, it's showing zero, zero. So it's gonna be important when you enter, enter uh, objects, you're gonna be measuring from this area. And you can put that, like I said, anywhere you want. You can even later, when you're making drawings, you can move it around if you want to move it to an edge of an edge of a box, and then you want to measure something from that corner or whatever. That's what I do. Okay. Um, your other outside of your toolbox here, your other important things are down here on the lower left. You see, you've got um, the first box. You can set your your line width. Um, you can set your line type to be short dash, break line, dash, 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 solid. You can uh, set your layer here, and we're on, and it shows you we're on layer one. Uh, this is this is group, which would be a collection of objects, and the scale which we set up on the drawing design sheet and th when it opened and you can change that to anything they got pre presets here or you can enter in your custom user defined which in my case is 1 to uh, 12. I haven't quite figured out what this is yet um, this is sort of like a filter if you want to um, select only dimension, tech, dark, line, or everything when you do a selection. That's where you, you can change it there. Um, this is two things. You can do an endless line flag or you can do an infinity line. So when you create a line, there's no end to it. It's like goes from infinity to infinity. Um, I usually like to leave it there because I don't want my lines to be infinity. I want them to be point to point. Um, the other one, you can set uh, basically how your line is going to be. Arrow to middle, arrow to end, triangle, whatever. I've got it none for right now. And then you've got how you're going to select items. This first one is freehand mode. And basically you can select anywhere in there. And that's what it is right now. Um, the second one is intersection. The third one is middle end mode. And then the last one is automatic mode. So if you've got a box here with four coordinates, for example, and you hover the mouse over it, it'll select. Well, let me just show you. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line here. And, uh, That's a freehand drawing. Okay, now if we s change the selection to automatic mode for the first junction or enter coordinates, you can enter the coordinates, or when you get close to a junction, it will give you this X, and then just, you know, as long as that X is lit up and you click on it, you can see there's a little red X there now. It's, it just does it right on the, the junction that it finds. Um, so for example, if we do a freehand here like this, and then we change the selection to junction, and you see it's going to pick up what I call the vertices, um, and that's good. It also will jump right to the middle, the center of the line. So if you want to go middle to middle, for example, and draw a line there you would do that by using this automatic selection. Okay, so next thing I'm going to show you is how to delete stuff. Um, come over here to the toolbar and this, when you click on something, it's going to expand into other tools. Um, the delete 
box here is delete component, which you can delete individual components when you click on them, or you can draw a selection around components and delete them that way. And the other one is if you kind of hide objects to where they can't be selected like so, and then you come back here and you select this box, you see you've got a, a black box and then you've got red ones. It's only going to delete what can be selectable. So if I come over here and now I delete all that, see all that's selected, and then I hit return, it deletes it. But it doesn't delete what has been kind of hidden. So now I can uh, just delete individual units again, and then our slate is clean again. All right. Um, so we've we've covered this. We've covered tool the, the beginning of the toolbar, the setting of the the dimension. Um, the most important thing before we get to the tools is options. Um, drawing. How do you want your drawing set up? Um, I want you want your drawing in millimeters or inches. Uh, for example, it's, I'm going to do inches. Um, do you want the inches decimal? Or do you want a fraction? Uh, and the precision, uh, if you're going to do millimeters, for example, it's going to be decimal, and then this will be grayed out. If you do inches, and you don't want it to change the measurements to change to like foot inch, then you have to say limit to inch only. And that works in the fraction mode. So we're going to do inch fraction, 1 16th precision, and limit only to inches. And then hit OK. And also in options, you've got display. Mm, not a whole lot to change here. Let me play with this. I really haven't ever changed any of that stuff yet. Haven't had a need to. Line, you can. Uh, it, it, when you, I guess, a uh, global marker size, when you make your markers, it's showing you the size of those markers. Um, the other one is how big your default text is going to be, your height, and the font and uh, if it's going to be a narrow or a circle for your Hinway's position number, which I don't know what it is. All right, let's see. The other one is dimension. It's going to talk about how do you want to draw your dimensions. Do you want your decimal places, uh, how many, how far, uh, global units, uh, global um, parameters, creation, and if you want a decimal or a fraction and the precision. All right, so we're going to leave that that way. Um, hashing talks about the approximation of circles. The other option, you can change your grid on. You can leave a grid, and that also is helpful like if you're going to uh, if you change it back to selection of freehand mode here um, it's not going to be as freehand as you want it to be it's actually going to go to the closest grid point and that's good for um, different things and you can set your grid how tight or spaced out you want it to be. Again, we can turn the grid on and off here. Okay. So let's uh, let's say we want a box coming off of here. I'm going to change this to be. And I'm going to change the selection to coordinates so I can get a get it right off of there. I'm going to do it there. Zero space zero. It's the first coordinate. You can see a little X right there. I'm going to come out here. Let's say 20 
space zero and hit return. The I'm gonna set it back to coordinates to jump there, and that's um, that's twenty and let's say y is ten to O space one O. Okay. And then now, if you want to make a box, for example, you go back up here to Tools, click the Parallel Lines, and with this selection on Intersection, you can say, I want this to be parallel, a parallel line uh, coming from here. And then I want this to be a parallel line from here. And there you go, you've got a box. And that's enough for right now, just an introduction to get started. Um, so if you were to print this, uh, you're going to print the area, which is page one, and you're going to continue. And I'm going to go to PDF and save as PDF or open PDF and preview. And there you go. There's your unit and then you can hit print from there or you can save it as a PDF and then of course if you want to save it you're going to save it and it's going to be tutorial or whatever you make it to be dot CADX so that's a quick introduction to the CAD CADintosh program and I will do more tutorials later going over more tools and whatnot all right that's it I will talk to you later